So I'm gonna ask you the question I ask everybody about o Occupy when I interview. What makes you support Occupy, uh, Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Portland, or just Occupy everywhere, you know? Between the time we're born as human beings and the time we die, uh, it's safe to say close to 90% of our energy, more in some cases, a little less in some cases, is tax. Being that we're working class people, working poor, even people who identify as being middle class, um, you know, the American working class, the American industrial working class, used to be one of the highest paid industrial working class sectors in the world. But a lot of the wealth that we created has been kind of pulled out from under us and we don't really have access to it. So I think that when your living wage hasn't gone up and your access to food, clothes, shelter, the basic necessities of life, education, healthcare is, is not really a reality anymore, then you can no longer function to reach your full potential. And you're really just a slave. And I think that's what the question we have to answer to ourselves is, do we want to exist in more of a slave state now that we're conscious of it? I think a lot of us have existed as slaves, you know, working for wage labor or whatever, trying to make money, buying into the ideal of some lifestyle, but not really understanding and that what we were doing was not only robbing our children of a future, but it's robbing the, the ecological systems that we depend on to survive. Therefore, it's time for people to wake up and recognize, and this is the broadest popular movement in my lifetime. So I gotta get down with it. It's a, it's a global thing, and I support it. Man, man, I totally feel what you're saying, and I, like, if you think about it, there's uh, 300 million Americans, right? Right. And they take approximately a third of all our paychecks, right? Right. They call it paying taxes, but it's more like taking taxes because they take the money before you see it right exactly so then it then in true actuality we have about a hundred million fucking slaves in america right real talk maybe more yeah you know? so i mean yeah so i i mean i don't know what the real percentage is like 99 versus one percent is a figurative thing but yeah it's a it's a, it's a metaphor yeah the, the bottom line is that most of us aren't doing near as well as we should be the planet isn't doing as well as it should be people all over the world are not doing as well as they should be while it's like one percent of these fools that are really criminal. I mean, the things that they do not only injures a handful of lives, but thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives globally. So when they're not held accountable and they're bailed out every time they get into trouble, where does that leave us? They're like you know? uh, monetizes our debt and privatizes what uh, and privatizes what we get. You know, it's like inside out fa uh, fascism, which is yeah, they're winning both, both ways. Dude. Yeah, they're, they're like screwing us on both ends. Yeah. They, So what do you think of the fact that Occupy is is basically a, a polycentric group? There, there's people from the left, right, and center in this group. Well, I, I think, mean, I think that therein lies the challenge, but therein lies the greatest potential. You know, it's it's definitely when we say 99% is a broad figure. There's definitely people that don't agree with each other. But I will say this much: when we uh, when we come together, that's exactly to get to the power that's going to bring this thing down. That's the power that's going to build a new future, and it's the power that has the potential to create something that sustains more life than it destroys. You know, it's like we're human beings, man. Sure. And we exist in harmony, hopefully, sure. with every other living form that occupies the planet that we live on. And all of these things are part of one system, all right? We're all born. No one's leaving alive. So do you want to sustain life in a way that we all support each other and ourselves, or do we want to continue to exist in a lifestyle where there's no future? You know, that's what it is. Thank you.